What's up guys? If you're new here, my name is Jake. I'm a professional baseball player that loves technology and today we're going to talk about my desk setup. I'm currently home because our season was put on hold so I figured it was time to spice up my desk. I want to start off with some of the more unique items on my desk. The first thing is the bat mug. This thing is so cool. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's a mug made from the barrel of a baseball bat. I'm friends with the owner of the company that came up with this. I did an interview with him and they end up giving me this bat mug for free, but I had already bought a bat mug for everyone in my, in my entire family because it's such a cool gift. It's the perfect thing for any baseball fan. Next up, we got the Mark Pro. Uh, sh you guys saw my cable management. Now that I'm home with no access to trainers, it's really important that I stay on top of my recovery. The way that this works is you connect the pads to your muscles and it will contract them based on the intensity that you set it at. You'll see as I start to turn it up that my shoulder starts to twitch. I have it on my infraspinatus, my lower lat, my upper trap, and my deltoid to help flush the shoulder. It kind of makes typing hard, so if you have to actually do work, it's not the best thing. But if you're just hanging out, I'll throw this on my shoulder for 30 minutes to an hour. And I've noticed that it actually makes a really big difference in my recovery. Now you might have noticed that little thing above my main monitor. I'm talking about the gooseneck tablet mount holder. No joke. This is one of the best purchases I have ever made, especially because I'm concerned about my neck and head posture for baseball. Oftentimes when you're using your iPad or my Nintendo Switch, you have to look down and your shoulders are rounded forwards and it's a terrible posture. But this tablet holder lets you relax, you can sit back, you don't have to actually hold your device. It's amazing to use in your bed. I use it on our bus trips all the time and it has saved my neck and upper back a lot of stress. Speaking of gaming, we got my gaming PC in the corner. I recently switched to the Dan case, which is a super small form factor case. I used to have a really big and clunky one, but this is so much better. It's super clean. It has windows on the side, which I love. And while it's super tiny, it was actually really easy to build in. It has a PCIe extender, which allows you to have the graphics card on the opposite side of the motherboard, which is really cool and allows it to be so tiny. I got mine rocking an i7 6700K along with my trusty GTX 1070. I haven't really seen a reason for me personally to upgrade since the GTX 1070 is still crushing games for me. I only game at 60 frames per second on my ultra wide, so I'm not as concerned about getting a, a ton of frame rates. But one day, eventually, I will get a 144 hertz screen or even higher, and then I will probably upgrade then. On the productivity side of things, I'm rocking the 15 inch 2018 MacBook Pro, and it's been pretty good. I've been having some keyboard issues recently, but if you've seen any of my other videos my favorite application is better touch tool it does so many things you have to go check it out if you could only have one app on your mac this would be the one as for accessories i didn't really feel like i needed a full dongle so i went with two usb c to usb a adapters and a usb c to hdmi cable for my mouse, I'm rocking the MX Master 2S from Logitech, alongside the Apple Pencil for my iPad and AirPod Pros for quick switching and workouts. My keyboard is the Drevo Caliber. It is one of the only mechanical Bluetooth keyboards that I could really find that wasn't priced ridiculously high, and it gets the job done. The battery life could be better, but it feels pretty nice to type on. I like the look of it. You can adjust the RGB. And at the end of the day, if you want to play some games, you can plug it in and get really good performance. In order to organize my desk a little bit more, I ended up getting the Peak Design Tech Pouch. I also have their everyday backpack, and it seems like everything that they make is really well built and is going to last you a long time. I really like it to carry my Nintendo devices. So I have my Nintendo Switch, which unfortunately do have to take one of the Joy-Cons off to fit it in here and then my Nintendo 3DS XL, which fits in with zero problems. I also have some extra Joy-Cons, loose cables, and a very portable SSD. 
Now a piece of advice for anybody that's using a chunker of a hard drive still, please, for the love of data, switch to an SSD. I had to learn this the hard way when I was walking down the stairs and I accidentally dropped my hard drive. The next thing I know, I'm spending hours trying to data retrieve off this thing and I could barely just get the most important files off. I was super lucky. Just switch to an SSD. Unless you absolutely destroy the thing, your files are going to be so much safer and better off in an SSD than a hard drive. My speakers are the Audio Engine A2 Pluses. I was considering getting the bigger A5s to make sure that they were loud enough, but these things actually bump and they have a decent amount of bass for how tiny they are. I've traveled across the country with these guys so many times. I've beaten the absolute crap out of them. You can see some, some of the damage on the exterior, but they still work perfectly after so many years of abuse. The only downside to these is that the volume knob is in the back of the speaker, so it's annoying to reach around, but this could easily be fixed with an external audio controlling system. The Blue Yeti is indestructible. This thing is a tank. It has taken so many beatings. I have thrown this thing around so much, and that is why I love it. You're listening to the audio out of it right now and it is pretty good it's not the best highest quality microphone but the reason i love it so much is because of the build quality i've had this thing for almost five years now and it's just been rock solid my headphones of choice are the sure se 846s now these are an expensive pair of headphones and the reason i got them is because i travel so much you you are paying for the portability with these headphones but we take so many bus trips that are 10, 12 hours long, and you need something that can block out the noise really well, and these these just sound so amazing. The monitor is a 34 inch LG screen, got the sRGB color accuracy of over 99%, and an aspect ratio of 21 by nine. I got this four years ago, so obviously a lot of stuff has been updated, so I'll put my up-to-date recommendation down in the description. As for the desk itself, I got the Skarsta sit to stand from Ikea. I like it because it has a lot of room and can hold all my stuff, but honestly, it has not held up well over the years. It's got a tons of nicks and knacks, and I've treated this thing very well. Another reason why I'm not going to recommend this to you is because of the crank mechanism to go from sit to stand. I'm now going to make you sit through me shifting this from sit to stand the entire way so that I can prove my point. When I originally bought this desk four years ago, it was drastically cheaper than the motorized option. Nowadays, the price for the motorized option has come way down, so save yourself a pain in the butt and just get the motorized version. You'll see as we go up that the desk is shaking a lot. The bat mug even almost fell over at one point. And yes, now you know that the desk takes an entire 45 seconds to go from sitting to standing. That is a long time, and if you're doing work, it's really annoying to have to take that amount of time every single time you wanna adjust sitting or standing, rather than just getting back to work. In the future, I definitely wanna make changes to this desk setup. The first thing I wanna do is get a better connection system. Currently, I have to reach all the way to the back of my desktop if I wanna connect my external SSD. It's not exactly easy to find the single USB-C slot in the back of the motherboard. I also want to get a dock for my MacBook Pro so that it's not just laying flat on the desk and I can save some space. And finally, I need to cable manage. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm gonna do it, don't worry. It's coming. I will get a rack from Ikea and I will make the bottom of this desk look like a brand new spiffy clean floor. And that's all I got guys. If you made it to the end of this video, props to you. You're a trooper. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you can give it a thumbs down. All I ask is that you comment down below what I can do to make my videos better. Also, if you have any recommendations for my setup, let me know in the comments. And if you have any questions about technology or baseball, let me know and I'll answer them down below. Peace!